Every spring, when the first reports of striped bass circulate around Cape Cod, fishermen who've been waiting all winter to wet a line flock to the beaches and bays. On the way, they pass ponds full of big largemouth bass that they could have been catching since the stripers left in November. The overlooked largemouth bass fishery on Cape Cod is one of the best in the Northeast. The bass here are abundant, aggressive, and grow to sizes that you'd expect from Florida or Texas, but not New England. The Cape has hundreds of freshwater ponds. Some have well-maintained boat ramps and easy access, but many, and especially the good ones, have questionable launches if they have any at all. These small, backroads ponds and the bass within them are left to wading and kayaking fishermen. It's the proximity to salt water that makes the Cape Cod bass fishery so good. Beginning in March, river herring move into the ponds from the ocean to spawn. Their offspring will feed bass of all sizes, allowing the bass to grow quickly, even in small waters. Absolutely clobber, look at that thing. Hammer. For trophy bass fishermen, the spring herring run is the main event. Large bass follow the big bait fish, making them prime targets for oversized swim baits. The reason I think the largemouth bass fishing on Cape Cod is so good compared to other parts of the country uh, is because the saltwater fishing here is so good. You have these ponds, which are either getting stocked with trout or you have herring moving up into the ponds, bringing protein from the ocean into the pond and just fatten these bass up. You have a lot of guys focusing on your bottom fish, your stripers, your tuna, when you have an area like in the Midwest and down south where those, the largemouth bass is the target species, you're gonna have guys keeping those fish to eat. My biggest bass on Cape Cod was eight pounds, 12 ounces, came on a Huddleston eight inch swim bait uh, in trout pattern in a lake that was stocked with trout. A lot of the fishing down here on the Cape for these large mouth is in small ponds, uh, as small as 25 acres at times. Uh, the, these streams that run into the ponds bring nutrients, the herring coming in bring nutrients, so you can have a, a small population of really large fish, even in these small ponds. Yeah, I don't know what we'll be able to see today with the chop for uh, herring schools. All these ponds, you follow the herring run, and you'll find the fish. Did we get the net? Oh my god! Oh my god! I think eight, eight and a quarter. Seven thirteen. Not gonna give me eight. See that hook placement. So you're gonna find a lot more big fish that are gonna be more willing to eat a big bait when they're used to eating those large herring that are entering the pond. The biggest thing for us is when the herring do enter the pond, it attracts a lot of attention from the big fish that will move uh, and follow the herring school. So if you can find the bait, you can find the fish. It's similar to saltwater fishing in that regard that you're not hitting structure, you're not hitting targets. Uh, you're fishing around the bait fish. Cape Cod may never be known as a freshwater fishing destination. But that's okay. That's what's helped make the bass fishing here so good to begin with. <laughs>